the moment that she found out that she was pregnant, mm -hmm. I was immediately not allowed to smoke weed in the house anymore. I'm assuming that that was an issue with you guys, at least. Like, what, when, how did that conversation go? You probably have well, a bigger why? house at the time. Why in the house? Because he smokes it with tobacco. So I didn't want to inhale all the tobacco smoke while I was pregnant. That is something Wiz has going for him. He doesn't smoke tobacco. Yeah. He does not. No. no. Yeah. If you had just smoked weed, then I, and also I hate the smell of it. You ever smell a fucking bong? There's no way you would have wanted me doing that in the house while you were pregnant. Or just a raw paper joint. We live in California. It is not that cold outside. Go outside. <laughs> no, you're right. But okay, what what was your perspective on that? Um, so I had hyperemesis, which is equivalent to, like it's it makes you feel like you have food poisoning for nine months, twenty four oh, hours God. a day. You're like so, m nauseous all the time. Like lit literally every for hour, both pregnancies. E yes. So once you have it once, you have it through every oh, pregnancy. Nine months straight, all day, every day, twenty four hours a day. So he would come in the house smelling like a skunk. That's mm. what it smelled like when I was pregnant. Um, so he had to take a lot of showers throughout the day. So he would go out and smoke, run into the shower, take a shower, and then come and lay with me. Um, but if I didn't have that, then I wouldn't give a shit. Mm. Yeah, I'm really like with the smells. I don't know. I'm not taking bonus showers. I hate showering. Uh, no, he really long. did good. He really did. He took so many showers for me. He was so nice. That smell, like when you have a really strong sense of smell, it is like... You can't concentrate on anything else. There's yeah. a fucking smell. I need to figure out what it is. You just get it away from me. I That's come true. into the house after smoking and I'll try to like go to sleep next to her. Or like, God forbid, like start hooking up with her. And she'll just be like, Ugh, wash your hands. What I think because my parents always smoked cigarettes in the bathroom as I was a kid. And I'd have to go pee after. And there were hot bags in the bathroom with cigarettes. Like, mm. I just think that it made me hate the smell of cigarettes and like things that smell like cigarettes. Yeah. I don't I feel that. But I seen Travis Scott Freeman. smoking in the house one time, and I was like, God damn it, he's allowed to do it? The kids were probably not in your No, the kids were in the foreground of the TikTok. Okay. He was in the background of the TikTok smoking a blunt. And I'm like, oh, look at that. I'm going to use this against Lena. Yeah, Wiz smokes <laughs> any. I mean, Bash will be, like, he wouldn't blow it in his face or anything like that, but he'll be in the vicinity. They don't, I mean, like, ask about it? Wiz, huh? They don't, like, ask about it? They who? Like your kids? No. No? Parker's They're not always... interested in it? It's so normalized. Oh, so yeah. they know what it thing. is, so they don't have to yeah. ask. Yeah, yeah. She's always like picking up a pencil. She's like, "Look, I have one of Dad's pencils," but like, uh, <laughs> she's barely yeah. even seen him smoke. That's why I'm like, they can figure shit out so well, fast. Well, that's why right. she barely. Yeah, mm. Wiz smokes all day, every day. So yeah. Bash, since he was two, he's like, well, "My dad's smoking." Like, it's not, mm. it's not anything. He doesn't. He's desensitized. Doesn't phase him. Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. I just figured that it was like going to be super interesting to them no matter what. Because it's like, why do you have this random object in your mouth that's on fire and it smells insane? For example, coffee. We drink so much coffee. Oh, yeah. She's, See, she's fascinated obsessed with the by coffee. 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 She's obsessed. Because I think that... Do you like, give her coffee? No. no. Of course not. Like, I'll never give my it. kids coffee. Wait, Wait at what, what age? What? Flash <laughs> is four. He drinks coffee all the time. Wait a minute. <laughs> How much? He, every morning. <laughs> My like a whole cup? No, like me and my kids sit and we drink coffee and we talk. <laughs> How much coffee are we what talking? Like a little kid cup? No, like a cup of coffee. <laughs> Wait, you're kidding, right? No. Oh my God, my daughter never sits down. If I gave her any coffee, no, I'd be afraid it's okay. for my it's life. It's not a big deal. It's really, really? not. No. See? I mean, I know my grandparents gave me like, like black tea when I was a kid, but... But see I how there's like mad coffee. shit that she thinks is normal because she's been through all this shit. And then there's the stuff that we're being super careful about because it's our first kid. So yeah. we're kind of assuming like this shit is life or death. Turns out smoke a blunt in front of them. Give them coffee. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They'll be. Oh, she'll be OK. I'm a coffee addict. Not I'm so scared not, I'm going mean, to make I her coffee say, addict. No, I mean, I don't want to say it like that. Like do do extra crazy shit to your daughter. <laughs> but like. She'll be okay. No, but for me and my kids literally drink coffee. And like my four year old, he's like, he'll wake up and be like, I want coffee and breakfast. So. I feel like my perspective on coffee is that this is kind of like edgy behavior. Like this is adult stuff. Like kids can't do this. This is like, I feel like this is having a negative impact on my body <laughs> and mind. In the long run, but I'm using it in the it's short term. It's only caffeine. It's a little caffeine, and coffee is not bad for you. But we're also super neurotic with not giving our kids, like, candy or, like... Oh, my God. Yeah. My kids drink Coca-Cola, root oh, yeah, beer. See. She's only three, so she doesn't know that she could, like, ask for stuff as much and argue with us. Like, we took her trick-or-treating. 
she got the basket on on Halloween. I took it home. I put it in the cabinet. She did, she forgot about it completely. But next year she's gonna be like, where the fuck is my candy? Give me my candy. Yeah. You know. But so we can we can get away with a lot of stuff. No, right I let now. my kids dump out their candy and go crazy mm. for Halloween. My parents never took my candy away. I ate the whole thing in like one night. Yeah. We're going to get to the point where we have to just give her the candy and it's going to fucking Just loosen suck. the leash a little bit. You'll be okay. <laughs> yeah. She's going to be good. I know? was proud because somebody asked her the other day, they were like, what, what was your favorite candy that you got on Halloween? And she goes, chocolate. And I'm like, oh, I'm so glad that she doesn't know the names of all oh, the different right, candies right. already. She knows m ms but yeah. 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 Um, oh, it make me sound like a crazy mom. No, I'm just, <laughs> no, but it is just, good. It's putting things in perspective. Mom. Yeah. You're still and I a new feel mom. like I have this thing with me where I, I have to act like extra good as a parent, like, especially when I'm going preschool drop off. Cause I'm like, I'm going to be found out one of these days. They're going to know I do porn. So I want to make them like me as much as possible before they find out and think that I'm like as good of a mom as they are. So that when they do find out, they're like, ah, she's all right. It's okay. You know? Honestly, babe, they it doesn't even matter because you're a sweetheart and like they got to just Thank like you. you for for you. They probably already know and they just don't give a shit. I feel like nowadays, like millennial parents, like we really don't give a fuck. I feel like it's us, but I don't know. I don't Maybe. feel like it's everyone. But you probably hang out around like richer parents than us on average, too. Uh, yeah, <laughs> she's about Maybe. to be like, yeah, <laughs> but I'm like, I, I feel like isn't richer like worse. Maybe. I don't know. Well, I mean, I wouldn't, I'm not going to name drop, but like, yeah, my kid is like best friends with like A-list celebrity parents, right. kids. And they're not going to care because they know who you are and everything like that. They don't give a fuck. Yeah. They don't care. See, that's awesome. Like You're, they make 20 million a movie. If you they move to Calabasas, then nobody will consider us famous. But the types of fucking kids and parents that our kids are around are people that are realistically pretty normal and we stand out like crazy to them. We haven't really figured it out yet, but we look at them and we're like, I bet that guy's judging the shit out of us behind the scenes. But well, we don't really I know. I don't go to drop off with you because I can, yeah, I can disguise myself as a, as a mom. I you, drop her off too. You dropped her off one time. No, I dropped her off like three times. One time. She's been going to school for like... It was October 18th. You dropped her off one time. I know the exact date. <laughs> I'm in the crossfire here. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know when you dropped her off. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to change the subject. Okay. Well. <laughs> what is your perspective on love right now? Obviously, you've been in a lot of relationships. We all have seen what's happened with your last baby daddy, unfortunately. Hashtag just, Lena questions. I like this. I just like, I personally. Why do you say unfortunately? No, like, I just feel like when I, if I, I haven't had a lot of relationships. He's my first boyfriend. I had a fucking girlfriend before him and now we're married. And I guess I just have like a, not a phobia, but a blind spot on heartbreak because I just haven't had a lot of heartbreaks in my life. But knowing myself, if I had a heartbreak, I'd just feel like, I feel like if we broke up, I would be single for the rest of my life. I don't think I'd be able to pick myself up and trust again. I yeah. love I that just, idea, but I also think it's very unrealistic. And I just want to know like how your perspective on love and finding someone or, or maybe you're dating, I don't know, like is because you've had just like, I don't know, bad situations, I guess. I mean, I, my situations aren't really as they're they're just as bad as everyone else's. Mm -hmm. I think I'm just in the public eye, so it yeah. may look worse, but it's really just like. Well, I didn't mean to say like your situation's worse. I just mean like in a general question, as a girl who's who's maybe been through some heartbreaks in your life, like how do you get up and trust again? You know, you don't. You don't. No, you just lose faith in men. You don't necessarily lose faith in men. You just keep them where they need to be okay. if that makes sense where do we deserve to be on the floor as I mean, long as we're <laughs> hating men <laughs> no i don't hate men i mean i have two boys so right. i can never hate men you know but i think that um yeah i mean i'm i'm talking to you know people and um going out and living my best life um but to actually love someone again and put all my eggs in one basket mm -hmm. and really go full throttle like I'm going to be with this person and this is you know I, I don't know if I'm ready for that I don't know if I'll ever be ready for that mm -hmm. um, but I'm very honest um, in the beginning you know like this is what I want I want to feel safe I want to be in a safe environment with you um, I want to have fun and we'll see where it goes from there but that's all I want right now 